Hello my friends and welcome to The Lord of the Rings Conquest, a game I'm sure most of you have either completely forgotten about or never thought you'd see on the channel anytime soon. But we actually have a sort of vibrant Conquest community in the Discord, link in the description, that are playing some multiplayer battles and they also asked me to join them and I have very fond memories of this game. I know the game wasn't received all that well, the reviews weren't all that great, Basically, it's a Battlefront clone, made by the same uh, company, Pandemic. Uh, but I enjoyed it very much. I played it a lot on the PlayStation 3 back in the day, about 11 years ago. My god, <laughs> I was but a 15-year-old kid back then. And I have very fond memories of it, and when they linked me to it, that you can download it, um, link in the description as well, I was like, okay, let's you know play this, cover it on the channel, it's going to be amazing, it's going to be a blast from the past, lots of nostalgia. And I just quickly booted it up and it looks a lot better than I remember. And that might be because of the specific version I'm running and because the version runs in 2560 1440p, which is the uh, resolution I use for my monitor. But it looks amazing. So let's actually go to the training. Let's consider that the first mission. I did play a little bit of the training just to make sure that everything worked out fine. I'm playing it on a mouse and keyboard. It began long ago but first let's listen to the intro, of course. To resist his malice, a last alliance of elves and men marched Blast from the past. Oh, they even have elvish the subtitles. I appreciate that. For our lives and for our freedom. Learn well the arts of war, for they hold our only hope of victory. And they got Hugo Weaving as a voice actor, already scoring good points here. The War of the Last I'm Alliance. Ready. My god. So the format I'll be using is basically one mission per episode, but I might end up playing more missions as we go. Um, because once I'm playing, you know, one mission is usually not that long. So if you do give me comments saying, oh, you should do this, you should do that, do bear in mind that I can only take it into account probably a couple episodes later. Alright, so here we are. I'm using a mouse and keyboard, even though when I played on a PlayStation, of course, I uh, use the controller. So we have three basic attacks. Light attack, which is left mouse. A heavy attack, right mouse, and then a medium attack on middle mouse, which is the, the sweep attack. When knocked down, press space to quickly get up. Oh, come on, come on, there we go. So let's go kill some orcs. That guy just... Why do I keep getting knocked over? Come on, man. Fumbling feet. Quite like the armor design. Alright, we can also do a combo attack. So that's three light attacks, two mediums, and then one heavy. Three, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, one. There we go. Now let's try it out on some orcs. I quite like, like, what's happening with Baradur in the distance. One, two, three, one, one. I messed it up. Alright, let's see. One, two, three, medium, medium, heavy. That guy shoulder bashed me again. <laughs> How is that such a common strategy for these orcs? One, oh, he knocked me over. Stop knocking me over, man. When I was doing my testing earlier, it never knocked me over. One, two, three, medium, medium, and a heavy one. Look at that. There are, of course, multiple classes. Right now we're playing as the warrior. But I think there are about four different classes. And then you, of course, have heroes as well. And look at this. Oh, <laughs> I used sticky keys because I pressed shift too much. Oh, sticky keys, go away. I hate sticky keys, man. Why is that a thing still? All right. We hold shift and we turn into the Witch King of Agmar, basically. And if we now do a middle mouse, we do like a sweep attack, fire rush, look at that, or just a heavy shield breaker attack that gets rid of any defending. Boom, boom. There we go, our special attacks. So every class, of course, has their special perks and special abilities and all that kind of jazz. But uh, for the tutorial, they start us off with the warrior, seeing as it's the most basic class, all round. Decent orc slaying action. And this is about roughly the point where I ended my testing, just to make sure that everything runs fine, but... The game looks great. It looks a lot better than I remember. I might, this might actually be an upscaled version, because... Surely didn't look this good. Shift plus right mouse is the block breaker. Defeat enemies who are blocking. You now get a couple more elite units. Some Moranon Orcs, let's say. So they are blocking, and if we do the shift plus right click, that is a block breaker. This bar displays your health, down on the bottom left, and then on the bottom right we have our quote-unquote rage meter. If we fill that up, we can get our fire sort ability. As some orcs are T-posing in our direction, oh no! Not the T-posing orcs! 
Boom. Not sure what that red line is. It's a bit of a bug. Is there like a hidden secret over here? Nah. Shame. <laughs> Enemies sometimes drop health orbs. Pick them up to gain health. That's such an early 2000s gaming thing. Health orbs. Most games now have like auto replenishing health and all that jazz. But I miss the med kit, man. Oh, we're just crushing these orcs. They ain't got nothing on us. Control to block. I don't think I ever block. Use the crowd breaker when overrun by enemies. When your energy bar is filled, hold control and press right mouse button. These are too many things to remember. Okay. Crowd breaker uses a full energy bar. Fight enemies to gain energy. Okay. Let's use our combo attacks. Let's pick up the health. There you go. Alright, capture a flag. This is some very Battlefront stuff. Capture control points, stand in the gold capture region. Don't let enemies enter the ring. One ring to rule them all, eh? Alright. I got my axe ready. If anyone wants to have a go at me, I'll give him the old Gimli treatment. Burp. Sniped him in the air. Oh, you get away from here. Anyone else want the axe? Let's see if I can snipe that guy. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> snipe that guy in the head. Headshot. Come on, boy. You want to have a go, mate? Capture. So first we have to get rid of the evil, and then we can give the flag of uh, Arno. All right, now we can switch to an archer class. Look at that. Elven archer. Oh no, they have archers as well. Nice. Boom, boom. I think you can also zoom in for like critical hits. Yeah, control to zoom in. Boom, headshots. I was always decent with the archer. I used them quite a bit. I also used the sniper quite a bit in Battlefront, so makes sense that I would like them. The yellow arrow shows where your objectives are. Okay, I'm not completely retarded just yet, so I can figure that out. <laughs> Slight hand holding. So I've got three types of arrows in the bottom right, like a poison and a fire arrow. I'm not sure how to switch though. Oh. Eat shit or grunts. F to kick. Oh, that's it's a pretty high kick for armor. Can I shoot these guys? Probably can't now. Defeat the old garrison. Activate poison arrows. I kill them with, like, normal arrows anyway. Oh, multi-arrow. Uh, okay, yep. We've used them all. Alright, so poison slows, fire knocks them down, and multi is just multi. I think I'll go with the multi-shot, man. That seems very effective. The scout class, which is basically the assassin. We can make ourselves invisible. And then we can backstab. Oh, look at that. Boom! Scout invisibility. <laughs> can I jump over this? I have this cloak again. Where are the enemies? Come on, let me backstab you. Boom! Backstab eliminates orcs in one hit. Can I backstab Sauron? Perform the roll maneuver. <laughs> Funny. Chain combo attacks. So that's two, four, one. Oh no, wait, that's two different ones. Two, 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 or yeah, that one. One, two. Oh crap. Nope. One, two, mid, mid. Alright, yeah. Shift plus left mouse. Okay. That's cool. Bow hammer blasting powder. What does that do? Oh, we kick him. <laughs> we like punch him and then they blow up. That seems excessive. I think this guy can also throw bombs. Yeah, see, we can throw bombs. That's very effective. Keep on fighting. Backstab. Scout special attack requires energy. Fight enemies to gain energy. Okay. Use your scout central bomb to create a deadly ambush. Brrp. Oh, so it's uh, triggered when they get too close, eh? Excellent. That 
Alright, now we can switch to whatever we want. Can I switch to a hero? Alright, uh, let's go with the uh, arch for now. Actually, no, let's go for the warrior. Um, there we go. Forward! There's also a sorcerer class, but we haven't unlocked that one just yet. Come on, boys! Run, run, run! <laughs> oh, no, they got a sorcerer as well. Stop that! In the name of our king, Isildur! You stop that shit. Oh, sorry. Did I say Isildur? Elendil! I'm gonna get a very angry, uh... Oh, I missed this stupid head. I'm gonna get a very angry lore comment because I said King Isildur. Screw you, Orc Archer. I'm trying. So far away from moving my, uh, my foes. Come on, boys! Stop that sorcerer! At least I can one-hit him. Oh, they got nothing on us. Who wants the axe? Who wants the axe? Come on, who wants it? You want it? Oh, I missed. Alright, we got this. Oh yeah. Can I crouch? I wish I could crouch. Right, let's send another attack. Just gonna wait and capture. Because I don't think it captures when I'm not on it. I'm not quite sure. Oh, we now have the mage class. Nice. Let us become a mage, and we can shoot lightning. Charges up to hit multiple enemies. Nice. Zippity zappity. Nice. It's chain lightning, basically. Lightning can chain across multiple enemies, shoot into crowds for maximum damage. Yeah, we know that. Shift this heal. Okay, then we have shockwave, and then a fireball, which is basically an electricity ball. Allies with low health display this icon. Heal them. It's awesome to behold. It sure is. And that's all the classes, I do believe, without the heroes. Special barracks no more use, but its energy meter is full. Attack enemies to get energy. Yeah, we know that. And then you can also do a defensive shield to protect our friends from missiles. They're using it as well. And we can do a bash attack or just use our stick. Our wand. And then lob a fireball in there. This guy though. Can you stop that? Thank you. Stop that! Stupid archer. Right to the control points, we have unlocked all the classes. Nice. Can I get a hero now? Love to play as a hero. Oh crap, it's Sauron. Would you like to play as a hero? Yes! How can I select that? Uh, how do I select it? Oh, okay, I just pressed left mouse. What? Is it dur? I have unlocked Isildur. Complete mission objectives to unlock powerful heroes. Alright, so we got a special amount of uh, special abilities there. He also has a throwing axe. Eat shit, Sauron. Oh crap. Okay, he's pretty powerful. Who would have thought, eh? Oh my god, he's just lobbing me all over the place. Stop! I got a throwing axe through fucking face on it. Come on, boy. I don't think this is quite how it went, but... He keeps knocking me over, that son of a bitch. Oh my god, dude. Chill. I just used my control power. Oh, crap. He can zippity zappity me. Oh, come on, one more hit. Yeah. Can I teabag Sauron? I wish I could. Victory! We have victory! Alright. Nice job. <laughs> We've completed the training! The Dark Lord Sauron was overthrown that day, and the One Ring slipped from his iron grasp. And with its loss, Sauron was at last undone. Boom. But the power of the ring was not destroyed. Is it Lord? 
cast it into the fire. And then Smeagol just had to go and ruin it. Alright, so that's the training completed. That will probably be uh, its separate video. So I'll round off the first episode here, but I'll just keep playing and I'll upload these as separate episodes. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I do hope to catch you soon for episode 2, which I will immediately start right now.